In this episode, measure yourself, something random, or even a fixed object. Hello, and welcome to Stream Robot Bites, where I cover how to set up and to make the most of the awesome Stream Robot. There is one video per topic to make it easy as possible to follow and find. When relevant, Sample import code will be provided to make it even easier for you to get started and to add functionality to your stream. So let's get started with the topic for this video. To set up OBS, you'll need to have a web browser source. Now it's recommended if you have nested scenes to use it in a nested scene. If you're using the fast track, the VRFLAD fast track alerts scene is the right one to use. Within here, if you add in browser, I'd suggest you call it Measure, because that's what's renamed in the inputs uh, in Streamerbot. We then give the URL, name about, colon blank. Make sure you do not select the local file. The width should be the full size in OBS, so 1920 by 1080 by default. You probably want to control audio via OBS, so you can adjust the levels of the output. You may also want to do things like shut down source and not visible, but this shouldn't really be needed. We can see that's now added in and ready to measure. To set up in Streamerbot, click on the import button at the top. Then in the video description, select the import code. Triple clicking should make it easy to select everything. Paste it into the bot. At this point, we're ready to import. The commands are there by default. They don't have permissions. Uh, they do have a cooldown of two minutes. So if you don't want those to be imported, we can untick those here. Firstly, we'll go to commands. You may, for example, want to make them moderators only. You may want to also change the cooldown here. In this case, I just want to make them all for moderators only. Just simply setting the permissions there. If you want to set it channel point rewards. You can do it in the same way as usual. So you can go to your platforms, Twitch channel point rewards, add one in there, give it the name and select the relevant action. There's no input required. You just need to put the text in place. Now configuring the actions. Or by default, you just need to select the browser source options. Fortunately, we already have this selected with the right details because of how we've added it here. But if you need to select a different nested scene, different source, or if the source is going to be in multiple scenes, you might want to leave the scene blank. That will always do the current scene. I'm going to leave those as they are for now. So the measure, uh, by default, will pick an eggplant for you. And that's what's set up here. If you want to do a particular object, we can put that in as an additional um, part at the end of the URL. So use ampersand object equals, and then we put in a URL and paste that in there. So it might be a lot on the line there, but that will then work. So we could always fix to an object of your choice. That will override the default of the uh, eggplant or aubergine. With the random, you have the option to pick a list of URLs. So within a list, you just put the URLs one after the other, point this to the location, select it, and then click on OK. And that will then pick from the URLs you have in your list to pick whichever object you want to show. Now pick those equally random. And as usual, we'll do a random number for the size of that as well. The final configuration piece you can do is in any of these, I'll pick the user for example. In the browser, there's something that says extra sounds. Now, if you don't want the additional sounds, so if it's a small clip or a large clip, you'll get a different sound as you saw in the, the teaser part at the start of the video. 
If you don't want those ones, you just want the, the whistling sound as it goes up and the measuring sound of the measuring tape. You can just remove that by clicking delete there and that will then set the other options that, that are needed to do it. So make sure it's a question mark before the first thing we're setting, which is size here. And that will allow you to change the sound options to what you want on a per redeem basis. And now we're ready to test. So measure, just to do a random object, which of course we've defined to be my display picture. Measure me, which will actually be the same display picture, but this will be different depending on who redeems. And then measure random. And this time is a carrot. Please like and subscribe to be notified of more videos like this. If there's a topic you'd like covered, please do let me know in the comments or on Discord. Check out my Twitch stream to see the bot in action and for other examples. The links to my Twitch, social media and to streamer bots can be found at vrflad.com. Additional links to others that provide streamer bot content can be also found in the description. Finally, thank you Nate for making a great bot and please consider supporting his Patreon which is linked from streamer.bot.